What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and oh my lord, your boy Duty is watching the daily rap video uh, after a disastrous Street Fighter rank session of Blanca last night where Phil's tips yet again were low and his playthrough was abysmal <laughs> and the salt was just epic. It was, it was a robust, salty stream of salt from our boy Phil and it was just wonderful. It's so good that I actually decided to include a section of it from my video last night in the background of this video. Now, of course, he went on for about 11 and a half minutes trying to uh, provide every single excuse for why he sucks so bad. Uh, and he just he just sounds crazy. The, the man sounds delusional. So uh, I cut it down, it was like 11 minutes. I cut it down to nine minutes. I'll let him rant and rave and chime in when I need to, but I just want everyone to see uh, the descent of madness that our boy Phil has sunken into due to low support. Okay. okay, then tonight, it was my first ever attempt to play Street Fighter VI ranked matches on a late stream rather than all those daytime streams that I've been doing for the last three months. Um, because as I told you guys, Street Fighter 6 is basically the summer of Street Fighter 6 is over. And now this game has to become a late night stream to make room for all these new releases coming out. Uh, it did not go well at all. And I'm incredibly frustrated with how it went. Um, tonight I was playing with Blanca. And I was trying to take Blanca from 2 star diamond to 4 star diamond. In fact, I set aside extra time. I was going to play 3 whole hours tonight to play. I had more problems playing tonight than I played the entire time. Of, the, of playing this game um, mostly with just incorrect inputs and what I mean by that there were times blatantly when I was not doing anything and a move would come out there were times when I was just standing there blocking and I got hit right in the face there were times when I was in the middle of a combo and this happened I'm not exaggerating about 75% of the time tonight that I tried to do the basic combo with Blanca where he's doing the flip, the punch, then he goes down to the ground with the crouch and then he does the lift to lift you off and then juggle you into a super or a, a Blanca ball. I'm not kidding you. 75% of the time tonight, that combo dropped. And I can't answer why. Because it wasn't like every match was laggy. They weren't. But this was happening consistently almost every match. And then the funny part of it was I went into training mode I was so frustrated and I practiced it and it was coming out every time. I think it dropped once, but it was coming out almost every single time. But as soon as I went back online, it was dropping almost every time. So in three hours, which is typically what I would do during a daytime stream of Street Fighter VI playing ranked, and normally I would do tons of wins. Like last time I did this with Blanca the other day, I went from two star diamond all the way up to four star diamond. I barely made three star diamond tonight. I kept losing and losing and losing, and it was only because the combos would drop every fucking time. Okay, Phil, I'm not sure what is it. You're not, you, you don't know what exactly happened, or was it that the inputs dropped every single time? So you're saying two different things here, Phil. Uh, as many of you guys know, I, I, um, I, I'm a big believer in, 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 in the theory of Occam's razor, you know? Essentially, the simplest the simplest explanation is typically the, the the correct explanation, Phil. And the mere fact that you just bought this joystick, which you'll get into ranting and raving about the joystick in a few, uh, that you just bought a brand new joystick, that um, you've been scrubbing ever since you started playing the game. Period. Regardless of whether it was Xbox and the Hori joystick or PlayStation Five, it doesn't matter. The mere fact that you were garbage at Mortal Kombat, yet another fighting game, right? So if, when you look at all these things, I think the simplest uh, answer to why this is happening is you're just not that good, Phil. You're not. You have this inflated ego and, and this inflated um, uh, conception of yourself that you better, you're better than you are. You're an average player, Phil. You are. You're an average player, maybe slightly above average, but, but that's it. You're not good. You're old. Your reflexes are a lot slower. Your vision is probably not as good. Your hand-eye coordination is wasn't what it used to be, and you just need to accept it. You need to accept the fact that you're not, you're, you're just not that good, and you're you're not as good as you used to be. 
So you're gonna come up against people that are younger, faster, that spend more time playing this game, and you're going to lose. There doesn't have to be an excuse like your joystick. There doesn't have to be an excuse like lag. There doesn't have to be an excuse of pattern play. You don't need, you, you make yourself look sound and look like a madman and an idiot when you ran and raid like this, when you could just simply say, okay, you lost. Everyone in your chat that follows you doesn't expect you to win every single game, Phil. And, you know, when people look at this and, and see you losing over and over again, and, and you just losing your shit and blaming everything but yourself, people laugh at you. And then, of course, that, that makes you spiral because you don't like when people laugh at you or mock you. But you give everyone the ammunition to mock you. When you can just simply just brush it off and just say, oh, good match, they won. Okay, let's try to do better the next match. No, you have to sit there, rant and rave, and come up with these insane excuses. If, if, if lag was an issue, then you have a problem with your internet connection and why are you paying for business class? If the joystick is jacked up, you just pay $300. And I'm not even gonna get into the joystick because you can tell he's bullshitting. In a few minutes, he's gonna talk about the joystick. And you can tell that he knows it's not the joystick. So, so let's just get into that. And just to, to give you some perspective here, you know, now every moment that I play Street Fighter 6 has to matter. I can't have kind of like mess around streams that are worthless anymore because I'm not going to have as much time to play it. Now I'm not, no more daytime streams, right? I'm only going to be able to play it maybe what, twice a week, if that, with all these new releases coming out Armored Core, Starfield, Lies of P, just to name the first three. And then, of course, there's Mortal Kombat and others coming out later in September. So. I need to, to, to make the best of every session. That, I felt like out of tonight's three hours of gameplay, two hours were completely wasted. Because in one hour's time, I, I got enough wins there to get the three-star diamond. But it just didn't make any sense. And everyone's staring, is it the joystick? Is it Phil? Is it the connection? Well, how is it that when I went into training mode, it was working? But as soon as I went back online, dropping again, dropping again. Is there something about this game at certain times of the day, if there's more people playing, that the connections are worse, even if it doesn't say it? Because that's the thing. Yeah, admittedly, some of the connections said, oh, you know, 100 milliseconds. Okay, that's terrible. But a lot of them said 30. A lot of them said we're in the teens. And I'm playing, and it's dropping my combo again and again and again. Okay, folks, so the latest excuse now is that the nighttime is a detractor. Okay, that's what it is. The nighttime is... Uh, coordinating with Capcom, Street Fighter, the Street Fighter community to make Phil look stupid. That, that's what Phil is, wants you to believe here, folks. Just listen to this guy. He is now blaming the fact that he's playing Street Fighter at night for why he's so terrible. Phil, you're just bad. It's it's pretty fucking simple, Phil. It's bad. You're just not that good. And you're playing against competition that's just better than you. It's that simple. There's, there's, there's no more, uh, a deeper meaning. There's, there's nothing there, Phil. It's just essentially you're not as good as you think you are, Phil. That is all. That is all, Phil. And it gets to the point where you can't enjoy yourself anymore. Even if you get a win, you're mad because you're like, I just want to play the game, and I can't just play it and enjoy it because everything's like a gamble if my move will come out. And trust me, there's enough to be frustrated about in Street Fighter VI when it comes to fighting the top tiers. Like, Ken is insane, really ridiculous. I mean, so many Kens at Diamond level who don't even understand how to play the game. They play a pattern, and they win because there's nothing you can do when he gets the right guesses. A, a Ken guessing correctly is more deadly than a person playing this game with any other character and actually playing well. A good guessing Ken is unbeatable in Street Fighter VI. So you're already facing that... And then on top of that, when you get the hit in, when you do the mix up, when you got it going, then it drops your combo. And the thing was tonight, I was actually, if you look at the combos and the stuff I was doing tonight, I was doing more than usual. I was utilizing new strategies. I had actually watched um, some top level players play. So I was utilizing some different strategies with drive rushing, a little different than what I was normally doing because it was actually better than what I was usually doing. I used to just do drive rush flip. I was just doing, I was doing drive rush medium kick now because that was more safe and it could lead to more things. And you could actually bait drive impact. And if they do a drive impact on fight and you drive rush, you can counter it right away. And I was doing that against the Chun-Li. I was counter hitting her drive impact like every round. It was really cool. I was like, wow, I, I'm actually learning. I'm getting even better. 
it's so you know it's awesome you're playing the game three months you know this character that i already hit master with on xbox and i'm playing it on a ps5 and i'm even learning more i'm getting even better that's a great feeling right <clears throat> so for me you know when i'm playing and I'm learning, I'm playing better, but then I lose the game anyway because it drops my combo again and again and again. I just don't know. Now, some people are of the impression maybe it is the joystick at this point. I don't know. The funny part again is that when I went to training mode, it didn't seem to have the issue. I think it once I was trying to do the combo and it didn't come out, but then I did it like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times in a row. But then as soon as I go back online to play someone, it's dropping again. So was it is it that and this is a good question. Maybe it is the truth. Maybe more people play it at night. In the United States and therefore the connections are just worse and if that's the case that's awful because that means as I play now I'm gonna have a harder time playing this game moving forward and I've got Honda at four-star diamond I'm playing again with him on Friday night and you know Blanca now is stuck at three-star diamond admittedly he's probably should have got the four-star tonight and is it gonna be the slowest going am I gonna be getting insane amounts of losses now because the, every time I play the combos drop that's ridiculous so I hope that's not the case, but man, it did not feel like the same game tonight. It felt like I was playing a different game than when I played it on the daytime streams and my moves would come out. In this case, I was very upset and it wasn't just the combo. The combo was the common thing that dropped, but so many times, Blanca Ball, nope, standing medium punch. I did a fucking Blanca Ball. One time, full screen, I go for Blanca Ball, he does overhead. And then I just lose, because Ken jumps forward, free combo, and I'm like, I didn't do that. I'm, I, what is this ridiculous? So I don't know. Now some people see, maybe it is the choice thing. I don't know. Should I bother even trying to, like, contact the company and say, hey, listen, I'm having issues with your stick. I like it, but I don't know what's going on here, you know, and, and could it be the stick? Could it be, you know, I don't know. I could I could try, but who knows if they grant the warranty? Who knows what the process even is to do it? And does that mean that they make me, if I got to send this back, fuck it. Because it's too much of a hassle to package it up, wrap it up, take it to some shipping place, try to pay to ship it back to them and shit, you know, it's not worth it. You know okay this is where i'm gonna rip into phil pretty 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 good here okay phil you got the joystick from amazon a couple weeks ago amazon typically lets you return stuff about 60 days their policy is 60 days and you can either return it for a replacement or get your money back phil and they pay for shipping what the fuck are you talking about that it's too much of a hassle phil all you need to do is take it to Kohl's, take it to uh, uh, UPS, take it to any of their many locations where you can drop it off and shipping is for free. All you need to do is go into your Amazon app and start the process, Phil. Don't play stupid. Don't act like, oh my God, this, you know, you need to go to the North fucking pole and take it back to Santa. No, Phil. You just have to ship it the fuck back for free and get another one. You send it back, they'll send you a new one and they won't charge you for it, Phil. It's just that simple. The mere fact that you're sitting here and blaming your fucking joystick and you know it's not the joystick and then you sit here and say, well, you know, if it's a joystick, all oh, the hell with that. I'm not going to send it back because it's, it's too much of a process. You spend over $320 on a fucking joystick and you're talking about, oh, well, if it's broken, it's broken. Really, Phil? And most manufacturers give you a one year warranty on a product. So even if you pass the Amazon's uh, return policy date, you can still contact the manufacturer and they'll either tell you to ship it to them so they can fix it or they'll replace it. Every single product in the world in the United States has at least a one year warranty fill. So to sit here and act like, you know, th this is so much effort to replace it is just bullshit. It's a lie. You're full of shit, Phil. You just are. You know that it's not the fucking joystick. And that's the reason why you won't even entertain the mere fact of shipping it back to Amazon and getting a new one. Because you know it's not that. But of course, you want to sit here and give a fucking excuse to everything in the world. And you're fucking pathetic. God, you're so pathetic. If it wasn't, if it wasn't laughable, Phil... I would probably go and punch someone because you just frustrate the shit out of me. And I know you frustrate the shit out of people. But again, this is just comedy. This is just, You are not a serious man, Phil. You are not a serious man. No one takes you seriously. That's why the FCG laughs at you. That's why everyone on Twitter laughs at you. That's why everyone in the YouTube community laughs at you. Because you're a fucking clown and you're nothing but a joke. And when you sit here and spend 11 minutes ranting and raving on a video... 
trying to explain why you're so terrible at a game makes you even more of the low car the low cow that you are Phil and you're just pathetic and you know what I kind of like hearing you rant and rave like this because again it just proves my point of what you are and who you are and I hope this video gets out there and people see it and they say what the hell is wrong with this guy what is he talking about and just this little clip right here, this last segment where you sit here and you're trying to make it seem like, uh, you know, packaging the joystick, you know, and shipping it out is equivalent to, you know, uh, uh, catching, you know, catching a beluga whale, packaging it, shipping it, making sure that it doesn't spoil, you know, like this, this huge task when everyone knows you got it at Amazon and Amazon probably has the smoothest ship, you know, replacement uh, shipping process that there is so i just wanted to rant and rave on that because just listening to phil just irks the shit out of me and when i watched this last night uh i was gonna do a video i was gonna do the video last night but i was i i, I was so perplexed hearing this man hearing this 41 year old man rant and rave about a video game and I, I had to step back because i said this is what happens when someone places their self-worth in a video game Phil's self-worth as a person is tied to video games and tied to streaming and making money. And when that doesn't go well, Phil's self-worth is cratered. And that's when you get these type of rant and rages that we got today. And it's very pathetic. And Phil, go outside, touch grass, uh, make some friends, have, some, have sex with your wife. Uh, go do something, Phil. Get the hell out of that 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 closet of yours that you work out of and go do some go do something go fly a kite go to the zoo phil go to the zoo if you're willing to take a day off and go to the zoo phil i will super chat you enough money for your day off so that you can get the hell away and maybe you can get some perspective and understand that life is more than just video games anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video peace out